Good evening, everyone. I'm William Galloway. Alabama improved to 2 0 yesterday after a 52 to 24 win over Jimbo Fisher and the Texas A&M Aggies. The win is Nick Saban's 85th career win over an AP top 25 ranked team. The Crimson Tide jumped out to an early lead before Texas A&M tied the game at 14 in the second quarter. 21 unanswered points put Alabama in control up 35 to 14 at halftime. Mac Jones threw for a career high 435 yards and four touchdowns. Saban said despite the win, the team needs to cut down on the penalties. That's very disappointing um, and it's something that we need to fix, especially the pre-snap penalties. I mean, there's no excuse for it. That's total lack of focus. And, uh, you know, the fact that we make big plays and, you know, convert some of those situations when you play really good teams, not always going to be able to do that. And I think the players realize that, they got to know that, and they got to know the importance of getting it fixed. Yesterday in Athens, Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs defeated Auburn 27 to 6. That game was one sided the entire way as Auburn's only points came off of two field goals. The Tiger offense was held to just 216 total yards and Bo Nix was 21 for 40 through the air. After the game, Gus Malzahn said it was the Auburn running game that took the biggest hit. You know, the big stat to me, you know, rushing yards, we only rushed for 39 yards and you know, and then we got in a situation, got behind and had to throw it a lot and had trouble protecting. Uh, but give them credit. Uh, you know, our guys competed in the second half, but uh, we didn't get it done. This will be a learning experience for our team. I will say this, we will continue to get better. Uh, we'll learn from this. A rainy afternoon in Gainesville as Alabama soccer traveled to take on the Florida Gators. In the sixth minute, off of a Florida throw in, an errant pass ends up under the foot of Sydney Vincens, and she puts it past the goalkeeper. Bama on the board first, and Vincens with her first career goal. The Gators would tie it up in the 62nd minute and then took the lead in the 88th off this goal right here. Bama soccer falls 2-1 to one this afternoon at Florida. In some NFL action today, Dak Prescott and Baker Mayfield facing off as the Cowboys hosted the Browns. The Browns decided to run a little trick play early. Nick Chubb gets the pitch, swings it out to Jarvis Landry, and oh baby, Jarvis Landry, 37 yards to Odell Beckham Jr. What a play. Browns go up 7-0. to zero. Later in the first quarter, Prescott is going to thread the needle. Wow, what a pass to Amari Cooper. 20-yard touchdown, game tied at 7. Let's go to the fourth quarter now. Now, Browns first and 10 from midfield. OBJ takes the end around, breaks a few tackles, makes a couple moves, and he's got an appointment with the end zone. Browns win it 49 to 38. Here's your Bama in the NFL play of the day. Marlon Humphrey coming up huge with a strip for the Ravens against the Washington football team. You know what they say, ball security is job security, and Humphrey showing why he's worth the extension that he signed earlier this week. Ravens win it 31-17. to the Yellowwood 500 took place this afternoon at Talladega Super Speedway, and it was a wild one. On lap 108, 13 cars were involved in a crash you see there. The race was red flagged, and there were two overtimes. And in the end, it was Denny Hamlin who came out on top, but it was so close. Hamlin won by 23 one thousandths of a second. Just an incredible race. We had Ryan Carter and Matthew Traffis on site today at Talladega. They did a great job, and they'll have more on the race tomorrow night at 6. That's it for sports tonight. I'm William Galloway. We'll be right back after this.